going on, mobile gamers? So in this video, there's a lot of you guys that are still struggling to download and play Warzone Mobile. So your boy is going to show you exactly how to download and play it on iOS and Google Play. Let's go. So Warzone Mobile is still in limited release right now, and the devs actually posted on socials a new update that says it's available now in Australia, Chile, Norway, and Sweden. But don't worry if you're not in those countries, because you can still connect to a VPN and play the game. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do, is to download a VPN. I've linked three VPN in the description down below but you've got quick vpn express vpn and free vpn once you've downloaded a vpn you're going to want to create an activision account the activision account is a separate account that you're going to be able to use to log into warzone mobile and it's connected to warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 as well now we're going to start with how to download the game and we're going to start with ios first thing you want to do is go into your ios settings and create a brand new ios account you don't have to create a brand new account but you're going to need to change your ios store to a different region so if you hit your account on the top left if you go to media and purchases, go on view account. Once that's loaded, click on country and region, the third one down. And that's where you change your country and region. If you click that and you click Australia, I'm already connected to Australia. So I'm going to click Australia. You can also do Chile, Norway or Sweden as well. But we're going to go with Australia today. So if you click agree for the terms and conditions on this page, all you're going to need to do is the credit card details. Just click none because you don't want to put in any credit card details. And you're going to need to add in an, an Australian address. Now, here's one that I've found online so feel free to copy these details because they'll work for you as well all you need to do is hit next at the top and you are good to go you'll be connected to australia now all you need to do is go to your ios app store that should refresh now to the australian app store and all you need to do is hit search go to warzone mobile and it should pop up as call of duty warzone mobile br if it doesn't you can go to call of duty mobile let's just search that in right now call of duty mobile you can click on that and if you click on Activision Publishing, the name just below that, it will show up in that list just there. And boom, you're good to go. Download it on iOS. Now, for Google Play, it's a bit different because you're going to need to create a brand new Google Play account. And in order to create a brand new Google Play account to Australia, you're going to need to connect to a VPN first. So you want to download one of the VPNs in the description down below. I'm going to be using ExpressVPN. On ExpressVPN, I'm just going to connect to Australia. And you need to connect to this VPN before creating the Google Play account. And then once you're connected, go back to your Play Play Store, go on the account, and if you go to add another account, you'll be good to go. Create a brand new Australia account and it should be connected. And then all you need to do is search Warzone Mobile while still being connected to the VPN, and you'll be able to download it on Google Play as well. Now, to play Warzone Mobile, to get through the data centers and to be able to actually log into the game, you're going to need that Activision account. But before loading up the game, I'm on iOS right now, you're going to connect to one of the regions that's available, which is Australia, Sweden, Chile, and Norway. Connect to that VPN. I'm going to connect to Sweden because that's the closest for me because I'm in the UK. And then boom, load up Warzone Mobile. So you'll come to this screen. This is where you're going to have to log in with your Activision account. Now, remember, this is the main Activision account that you're going to be using to play the game. So don't forget this account as you can also use it to log into Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 on PC and console as well. And it's cross progression. So everything in the PC and console is going to be on mobile and you can use this same account for both. Now, once you've logged in, it's going to ask you to enter a security code. So what you're going to need to to do is you're going to need to go to the Activision website, log in with your Activision account and set up an authenticator, which will basically give you an app on your phone that you can get a code and you can use it to log in. So here's my code. I'm going to use that to log in right now. And it should wait for data centers. Since I'm connected to Sweden, it should log me in and it will load for a second. It'll load for you guys as well. It should connect to your account and it will load up your account. If it comes up with this error message and said that the connections failed, reason Walters Francis, whatever that means, then literally just reload the game. Make sure you're still connected to your VPN. Reload the game and log in again the same way you just did and it should directly log in. You sometimes don't even need to log in. Like for me right here, there we go. It's checking for the update. It should do a small update. It's now loading my player stats, fetching my online profile and boom, you can click the little X at the top right and it should take me directly to the lobby screen. Before, you had to have under 200 ping to play the game, but what you want to do is connect to the closest region to you, Australia, Sweden, Norway, or Chile. Anywhere in the world, you should be able to have low enough ping to enter a game. And that's it. You're good to go, boys. I hope this video has helped, so make sure you hit a like and drop a comment down below if you have any questions or anything at all. And this is what Warzone Mobile looks like now. Oh, get 180, bro.
I'm literally stuck. So yeah, the buttons are, uh, are a bit laggy there. Come on, reload, man. Dead it. Yeah, this sniper's so hard to use. Then there's only two left. Literally two people left. Enemy UAV active. Hey, punch him out. Let's go. So yeah, the buttons are still quite super like laggy, but it is a limited release. It's going to get better. There's a new graphics update coming next month as well, so that should improve it a lot more. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to be doing loads more Warzone mobile gameplay, so if you've got any questions or any problems, make sure you hit a like, drop a comment down below. I'll catch you boys in the next video. See you.